everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we don't have any further information on Time of Legends, Joan of Arc, Reich Busters, Project Vril, Enchanters, Steam Watchers, or Darkest Dungeon, the board game. But let's get to everything else. For Solomon Kane today, just a short update to say that QML has received all six containers of product at this point and has continued the fulfillment process by sending out the address verifications to the rest of our backers in North America. There was, however, a slight confusion in their wording of said emails. These verifications are not for Wave 2 of Solomon Kane. Their wording meant to convey that they were ready to start the second wave of shipments in order to finish up Wave 1 fulfillment now that the rest of the containers had arrived. So we'd like to extend our apologies for the unfortunate wording of the email, but please realize it was an innocent mistake. As time continues to wind down for everyone receiving their copy, we'd like to point you to two more videos showcasing Solomon Kane. Becca Scott and her team have applied their talents to Solomon Kane with a very well produced how to play video in English, and Ludovox has done the same for Solomon Kane in French as well. So, hopefully, you'll be able to check those out and get a head start on familiarizing yourself with gameplay before your copy arrives. For Super Fantasy Brawl today, we first wanted to reveal the launch date for the Round 2 Pledge Manager on GameFound. The Round 2 Pledge Manager and Late Pledge window opens on April 14th. Now, if you back to the Kickstarter campaign, the Pledge Manager is where you will finalize your pledge, providing your mailing address and pay for shipping. Upon logging into your GameFound account, you'll find credits equal to the amount that you paid during the Kickstarter campaign already in your cart. You will then need to choose the pledge that you want. It can be the same as the one you chose during the campaign or a different one, but don't forget to choose your language. You then have the option to select any number of add-ons and additional pledges that you wish to include in your order. On the checkout page, complete all your shipping details. Please also add your phone number as we cannot ship items to you if we don't have that. Here, you will be informed of the shipping cost of your items as well. If the total cost of your items in your cart exceeds the amount you pledged on Kickstarter, which is represented by the credit you have in your cart, then you have to then you can pay the difference when you check out. All products and add-ons from the campaign will be available in the pledge manager at the same price. We also wanted to let you in on something about which you may not have been aware. Now, we all currently live in a weird time when spending an evening with friends around a table in person is complicated, to say the least. This could make Super Fantasy Brawl less accessible, but fortunately, Tabletopia and Board Game Arena both host a digital free version of the game. The Tabletopia version has been around for quite a while, and we've actually held online tournaments there. The Board Game Arena version, though, was only recently announced. But we've just added the final Round 2 expansion, Radiant Authority, to the BGA roster, bringing the total number of champions available there to no less than 21. On April 2nd, the BGA roster will be complete with the addition of our beloved Forces of Nature expansion. Now, to get started playing the game for free, just follow the links in the description below for each platform. We've already put the BGA version through alpha and beta phases to work out any bugs, but should you encounter a bug of some sort on BGA, you can report them by typing bug with a colon in the chat, followed by your experience. Then click report, and it sends a bug report to the developers. Now, we're absolutely delighted that the game is playable in those two places. It enables you to test it out before deciding whether you want to play it physically. And it's a great place for us to organize play until the current health crisis resolves and brick and mortar stores open back up. Hopefully that's just right around the corner, but until then, we'll see you in the digital arena.
This week, we'd like to continue our review of the visual artists involved in the universe of Hell, The Last Saga. Chances are you've already come across the work of today's artist, Georges Kalarinko. This Parisian digital painter started illustrating more than 15 years ago with numerous covers for the Gallimard Folio SF collection. And he has since put his talents to work for publishers like Come On and Monolith. If you're into adventure board games on Kickstarter, your characters have probably already ventured onto the tiles he's made for titles like Rise of Moloch, The World of Smog, Conan, The Board Game, Mythic Battles Pantheon, or Batman, Gotham City Chronicles, just to name a few. Behind the detailed and realistic perfectionism of each of these game boards, there is a deep expression which only comes to the foreground when Clarinko imagines and creates atmospheric illustrations with deep, strong lines and textures, like furrows that scratch your retina and mark you forever. Never gentle, never easy, Georges' eye for rough atmospheres fuels his exploration of cold, desperate, and dehumanized environments even further. This command of vision and sensitivity seemed to be the indispensable counterpoint to the warm colors of the heroes painted by Tatiana Kuprianova, and the ideal way to confront the player with an interestingly frightening and disturbing unknown. In parallel to his work for imaginary playful worlds, Clarinko continues to build a personal post-apocalyptic universe, Form Zero, on Instagram, which will soon be available as a comic book. We invite you to visit his personal website if you're not afraid of seeing what a nihilistic future could truly look like. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time for a live Q&A in French. So tune in there if you have any questions or if you just see want to see what he might spoil because he does tend to do that. He loves doing it as well. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe. Play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care.